roughly 0.03% of human beings make it to the age of 100. That's, that's hardly any of us. Although some people do, it's rare. So me, at age 58, have a lot less time ahead of me than I have, behi than I have behind me. As most people, you know, from the minute we're born, we start to die. So today's subject, if you're extra sensitive, might be a little touchy. But it's something we, sh we all are guaranteed, and that's a death. You will all die. Unless there's a secret we don't know about, every single one of us, me talking, you listening, we will all probably be dead within the next 50 years. I'm assuming nobody under 30 is watching this because the young people don't watch old people. They don't. So that brings up the question, and I've done a little research. Uh, what, ha you know, what are your choices after you die? For one, let me give you my, what my feelings are. And then you can leave in the comments what your plans are. Personally, I do not believe in burying humans. I don't believe in that. Funerals, today's traditions, all they do is stir up more emotions than, than needs to be. I know deep down, uh, here's a good analogy. We look at death as something that happens to everyone else, but not us. And nothing could be so further from the truth. Uh, it's going to happen to you. And so what are your plans for when you're gone? Do you want to be buried? Do you want to be buried in a nice fancy coffin? Do you want to be cremated? You know, there are many traditions around the world uh, for burials. I believe, now don't quote me on this, I believe Muslims bury their dead as fast as they can within... 24 hours uh, you know there's there's different traditions for different parts of the world basically for different religions religions have guided all of the burials you know one religion says you got to do this one religion says you got to do that well in the in the King James Bible there really is nothing specific stating what we are to do with bodies when you die. Uh, here's one verse, you know, and this is not a religious uh, video this morning. I'm simply looking at different, trying to figure out, you know, does it say in the Bible to bury your dead? No, it does not, specifically. and It does not. And the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the Spirit returns to God who gave it. Now, that can mean a lot of things, you know. If dust, if dust settles on my bag of pork rinds, man, it looks tasty right now. And a big wind comes, and that dust gets blown up in the air, guess where it goes? To the earth. I don't got to bury my pork rinds to get that dust back to the earth. It'll get there eventually. My plans, and, and I'm going to be blunt, and I'm dead serious. Uh, I'm going to tell them, cremate me immediately, immediately, and flush my ashes down the toilet. Because I don't care. I'm not in the body. You know, maybe you have other plans. You want an extravagant funeral. I understand if you are with a spouse or you have children that have passed away. You want, you want that to be special. The truth of it is, most of the time, funerals and burials are for the people left on earth. It's, it has nothing to do with the person. Uh, we do that to make us feel better. And I'll be honest, the funerals I've been to, grandparents and uncles, they only make you feel worse. They make the people that are left behind feel much, much worse. There's nothing about them I saw 
if it made me feel any better, you know, it just, especially if it's an open casket type funeral, those make you really feel bad, you know. I would never want nobody gaping at me when I had no, you know, I ain't going to be there for one thing. I'm not going to be in that body. So I ain't going to try to get too too crazy. I know it's sensitive to some people. They've lost loved ones. But they're gone. They're not there no more. They've went on. Every I believe everybody has a soul. Most people believe that in one sh way or another. And they're gone. They're probably... And you hear some of these near-death experience stories where the first thing they say is they are floating or they're there in the room and they're watching. They're looking at their own body. And they're not having a care in the world about it. Um, I don't know. But that's what I want to do. I don't even want an obituary. I think maybe by law you have to. I don't know. But it don't matter, you know. Of course, I don't have a ton of family that's going to object to that. Uh, and most of, I think most of the people in my family, excluding, I think maybe my mother wants to be buried. We, we will honor ish, those kind of things. But to me, it's nonsense. I mean, it really is to get, spend thousands of dollars on a fancified box to put you in the ground in a space of land that's going to be pretty much taken up for forever, you know. The truth of the matter is, they practice this, I, I don't remember which country, there's actually a YouTube channel. They, they bury you. I believe it's 20 years, 25 years. That's it. You lease that space. The guy gets in there, digs it up. By then, the coffin is already rotted away. There's not, there may be a few bones. There's not much. They gather those up, they dig a deeper hole in the same plot, bury those bones, whatever remains there were, cover that up, and they bury someone else in that spot. Now, if I was going to be buried, that would be something I would choose. If it was up to me, they could drag me up to the mountain and let nature take care of it. And I believe people started burying their dead for one specific reason. And it had nothing to do uh, with religion. It had nothing to do with comfort. It, 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 you know, what happens to a body after it's dead? Decomposes and it starts to stink. And a, and a lot of them would have diseases. They would have to be buried. So people kind of stuck to that. Maybe I'm wrong. But it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, maybe people say, you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, whatever. Uh, I don't really put a lot of thought into it. I, I am going to be for. I have not done this yet, but I am going to be forced to take care of those, you know, future plans for myself because I don't want to bother my family with that. I'm perfectly healthy and fine other than arthritis and joints, the typical stuff. But if so, if I was to die in a car accident tomorrow, I don't want my family burdened with having to go through all that, trying to figure out what my wishes were. Now we know my wishes. It's just not fair to who you leave behind. And so that's something I think we should all take care of is pre-death plans. Uh, I know sometimes people cannot talk about death, but it is, it's as guaranteed as birth. You will, you will pass away. And the sad truth, unless you were famous like George Washington or somebody like that in history, within 50 years, nobody will ever know who the heck you ever were or that you ever existed. The chances of that are great. Once your immediate family passes away, you're forgotten for good on earth. You are forgotten. The only ones we remember are the ones who've done something, who were leaders. But that is the truth. You know, within, within 50 years, especially if you die and you're over 50 or over 60, 
your circle of people around you, your family, are older. So you may leave a child that's 40 years old. Well, in 50 years, he's going to be gone. And especially with the way generations are now, they, they don't care about history. They don't care about family history. They could care less. So that's going to get even shorter. Um, yeah, we're forgotten, but we're not forgotten somewhere else. So something to think about. I know there's different, I was reading, uh, there was one tradition in Madagascar. Every couple of years they go in, they don't bury, they go in and they wrap the bodies in a new dressing every couple of years and they do some dances you know, humans have <laughs> got some pretty far-fetched traditions uh, when it comes to death. And I'm the kind of guy, yes, I'm sad when, when somebody passes, especially, you know, in the last few years, I've had quite a few uh, friends and, you know, a few family pass away. And you mourn them in your own way, and then life goes on. If there are some people, uh, mostly women, I'll say, Mostly women. I have seen a few guys. Uh, Facebook. Oh, I, I can't hardly get on Facebook anymore. You know, because they will lose somebody. And, and it goes on for a decade. You know, that's all they talk about. You know, I don't want that. Do you want that for somebody that you're leaving behind to be sad, to be depressed for the rest of their life? That's not how it should be. So, parents need to teach their kids that one day they are going to pass on. And you don't want them, uh, you know, mourning them for the rest of their lives. You go to cemeteries, you know, and I'm not knocking anybody that goes to visit graves or any of that. But you go to cemeteries and, and there's benches set up and there's extravagant things and it's for the people who are visiting you know I don't see any sense in a lot of that but that's you know we have free will but if it makes you feel better it does but at some point you got to move past it and start living life or you're defeating the whole purpose the whole reason we're here if you're gonna mourn over some person a spouse a relative a brother Whatever, if you're going to mourn over them for the rest of your life, then you haven't moved past it and you're making your own life miserable. So if I've upset some people here, I'm sorry. Those are my feelings on it. I'm not going to waste the years I have on this earth, the precious time I have on this earth, worrying about death. Because I know it's coming. I know it's coming. It's a guarantee. And you should not fear it. Nobody should fear it. Unless you're uh, living a horrible, horrible life, nobody should fear death. But think of the people you're leaving behind. Have talks with them beforehand. Say, look, I don't want any. I don't want all this sobbing and going on for years and years and years. Let them know, because if you don't let them know, maybe they ex they think that's what they're supposed to do. I don't know, guys. But we will all be up there one day. You think they got a YouTube up there? If we go up there? I don't know. Oh, that's scary. Ah, man, they won't pay nothing. I guarantee you, you ain't going to get paid. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Nobody take offense. I'm sure I'm going to get chewed up on this one. Happy trails.